Yo, what is up squad, Pino E here, and today's probably going to be the shortest video I've done in a while since there really isn't much that's been going on. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like button, I really do appreciate it and it helps the channel, but also you all hear that beat in the back. Let me know in the comments below if you know what it is. Now with that out the way, let's go. Let's kick things off with a heads up. In celebration of Memorial Day, Stadium Goods is running a huge 15% off sale that includes everything online and in store. So if there's something you've been eyeing, today's a good day to pick them up. The sale runs until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey, if you've been eyeing that $30,000 Kobe Jordan pack, now's the time because after discount, they're pretty much a steal for only $25,500. Over to Adidas, and first up, we have the Adidas NMD R1 Prime Knit Japan Pack. We first spotted leaks of this pack a few months back, and it looks like Adidas is getting ready to drop the two pairs. Included in this pack is a triple white and a triple black NMD constructed of Prime Knit with matching EVA inserts, which contain Japanese branding. The exact date isn't yet known, but it looks like these will drop sometime in August for $170 each. You all know I don't normally talk about resale value and all that stuff, but if you want these then don't sleep. The last Japan pack was extremely limited, and pairs are now reselling for around the $400 mark, so you could expect the same for these. Next up, and last for Adidas, we have the official images of the Adidas NMD R1 Prime Knit White Camo. This pair comes dressed in the glitch camo motif, using white and light grey tones, accented with grey tonal 3 stripes and matching EVA inserts. Decent looking pair, but for these there is no known release date yet, so stay tuned. Let's head on over to Nike who don't seem ready to just yet let the Nike LeBron 13 go. On June 1st, Nike Basketball will be dropping two premium colorways of the LeBron 13 low, coming in your choice of a team red or anthracite colored suede upper, sitting on an Air Max 180 sole and a gum bottom. Nope, I'm good, but if you want them, you can pick them up on June 1st for $150 each. The Dennis Rodman Nike Air Shake and Destruct has already seen a few colors released in 2017, and up on screen we have a first look of another one that's on its way. For this go around, the pair comes in a mint green leather upper sitting on a contrasting white mid. It's a clean summer colorway, but there's no word on when they'll release just yet, so stay tuned. Over to the Nike Air Vapor Max, which has a big day planned for June 20th, including the pair up on screen, which we've come to know as the Triple Black. Technically, it's not a Triple Black colorway because the official color assigned to this pair is black, anthracite, and dark gray, but it's still dope and it's close enough. I believe this marks the fourth time we got this colorway, with the Comme des Garçons being first, the limited Nike Lab Drop being the second, and the Nike ID release being the third. If you missed out on the earlier pairs, then June 20th is your next shot in men's and women's sizing for $190. And last up for Nike, we have a first look at the off-white Nike sock dart. We know that there are 10 pairs in this collaboration coming between the two brands, and we've already seen the Air Force One, Air Jordan One, Vapor Max, and Air Max 90, so this marks the fifth out of the 10. The details are kind of hard to spot on this pair since it's not the best image, but from what we could tell, we have a black upper sitting on a white mid with off-white branded midfoot straps. From the image, it also looks like the cage has been cut off, giving it an unfinished or customized look. Anyway, there's still no date for these drops, but you know I got you with that info as soon as it's available so stay tuned over to Jordan Brand, and first up, we have a first look at the Air Jordan 1 Flyknit in a Royal Colorway. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen these yesterday when I posted them up as a first look. I don't know what to say about them. I think they had a lot of potential when they came up with the idea of a Flyknit 1, but I can't really say I'm a fan of the Flyknit pattern and the execution. It looks like a home ec project or some shit your grandma would make. Before the release, you could expect to see the Bread Colorway drop sometime in September and the Royal Colorway in October. I'm unsure of the price for now, but it will be in between $180 and $200. And last up for today, we have some new images of the Air Jordan 5 White Cement, and man, this shoe's interesting. In my opinion, right off the bat, I'm not a fan. To me, it looks like a custom, not an official release, but the people seem to be split. I've seen comments calling this a future classic, some people calling it instant trash, but I haven't really seen anyone in the middle. I can say and I will admit that in this round of leaks, the pair does look a lot better, but it's still a pass for me. For those of you who want them, circle August 5th on the calendar and put $190 aside. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.